Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to automate anything in Reaper. So, for a project set up here with a synth, and it sounds like this. And I opened up a one channel mixer right here so we could see the level of our synth. Right now, it's at minus five dB, and we could adjust it from here, which is the same thing as changing the volume from over here. And by default, the automation mode we're in, we could see down here is trim read, which means if we had an envelope on this track, we could trim it with this volume. But without an envelope, we're just adjusting the volume overall. Let's create an envelope. We'll select the track, type V, and that opens up a volume envelope. And notice over here, the fader changed. Now it's set to zero because that minus five volume transferred to the envelope. And we can see it right here, minus five. So it's gonna sound exactly the same. But we could trim this envelope with our fader. And go down a few dB, or up a few dB. And if we draw the envelope, control on the PC, command on the Mac, like this, it's gonna play back that volume automation, like this. And again, this fader is just gonna trim this envelope. So it can make it quieter. But it still plays back this envelope, just a bit quieter or trimmed by this amount. But because we're in trim mode, we're not seeing this envelope moving the fader. If we want that, just go down here and right click and switch it to read mode. And now this fader is gonna play back the envelope. We can switch it back to trim read to trim it over here. And we could also trim the envelope visually over here. Bring it down or up, and that'll change the envelope directly over here without affecting our trim, even though it's still trimming the envelope, making it quieter or louder. Let's undo all this, and now we're back to our fader at minus five, and let's check out the other automation modes. We can go down here and right click and see we have write, latch, and touch modes, which are the modes we use to write automation. In this situation, volume automation. So if we choose write and we touch our fader, it automatically creates an envelope. And if we play our track and move the fader, it's gonna record those moves like this. Now by default, if we play it back, it's gonna rewrite the automation because the mode we're in is called write. So to play it back, we should switch the automation mode. Either switch it to touch, and it'll play back like this. Or we could switch it to trim read. It'll play back the envelope and we could tweak or trim it with our fader. But notice it's not gonna change the envelope. It's just gonna trim the output. and it starts at zero, 
so we can see how much we're trimming it down a few dB or up. So let's check out the other modes. We could also choose touch mode, which will let us punch in on the fly to rewrite our automation. So if I play it back now, it's just going to play back the automation. But if I grab the fader at bar two and let it go at bar three, it's just going to record that one bar of automation like this. Notice I let go at bar three. So it just wrote from bar two to bar three. So I punched in that automation just when I touched the fader before and after. So that's how touch mode works. But we could also choose latch mode, which is similar to touch mode as we could play back our automation and see it over here. But if we grab our fader, it's going to start recording that automation. But different than touch mode, if we let go afterwards, it's still going to continue to record automation. So it's more useful if you're happy with the beginning of the automation and you want to go through the rest of the song re-recording that automation. We don't have to hold the fader each time, like this. So it continues to write after the first time you touched the fader. But there's one other mode I should show you, and that's Latch Preview. If we choose this, by default, it's going to play back our automation. But if we grab the fader, it'll preview the level we move the fader to. So it's great for finding a specific level just for a section. Let's say you wanted to find the volume of bar 2 to bar 3. We can grab the fader, and it's not going to record the automation, but we're still going to hear the volume we move the fader to. Let's say we like that level. We could put our cursor at bar 2, switch the mode to write mode, and write from bar 2 to bar 3, like this. And then stop it, and we just recorded that preview level. So that's volume automation. But we could also do this with pan. Let's undo this again. And this time, we're going to write pan automation. Again, we'll choose a write mode, either write, latch, or touch. I'm going to choose write, and just touch the pan, and it creates a pan envelope. So I can just write by moving the pan while we play the track. And again, we could play it back by switching the modes. If we want to see it moving in time, we could choose read. We could trim it in trim mode. Or punch in and out with touch mode. So that's panning automation. Let's undo it. Now we could also automate the mute. But we have to do it a bit differently. We can't just go into a write mode. We have to first hit this button and choose to view the mute envelope. And now we could switch it to a write mode and just record our mute automation like this. And 
records that automation, and we can play it back by switching the modes. So that's the mute automation. Let's undo it. And finally, we could automate any parameter in a plugin. Let's add an EQ to the track. Let's choose re-EQ. Let's remove all the bands except for one and change it to a low pass filter. And we'll adjust the filter right here. Now to automate it very quickly, just change the mode. Let's switch it to right. As soon as we move this, it's going to create an envelope for that parameter to record automation to, like this. Just like that, we recorded automation for that parameter of the EQ. And we could do this with any parameter and any plugin in Reaper. We could play it back with touch mode or read mode. And retweak it just by touching the parameter either here or here. So that's pretty much it. That's how to quickly automate anything in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys. Let's go. Oh!